One man is dead and another is out on bail after a fatal collision in Crooked Tree Village on Saturday. The deceased 56-year-old Richard Crawford was on this red dirt bike when 33-year-old Andy Gillett, who was behind the wheel of this Mazda Tribute, collided into him. Okay, about 6, uh, 20 a.m. on Saturday, the police uh, responded to a fatal road traffic accident at Crooked Tree Village. Upon their arrival, they saw a Mazda pickup extensive damage on a motorcycle. Information is that Andy Gillett was driving the Mazda vehicle when he lost control and collided into a motorcycle being driven at the time by Richard Crawford. Crawford received uh, severe injuries, was taken to the cage where where he was pronounced dead on arrival. And the Gillette has since been arrested and charged for the crimes of manslaughter by negligence, causing death by careless conduct and drove motor vehicle without due care and attention. He was arraigned today and released on bail. Well, yes, he was arraigned for three different charges, manslaughter by negligence in causing death by careless conduct and driving without due care and attention. And the matter came before the learning magistrate this morning and, and he was granted bail in the sum of $8,000 with two charities. Okay, um, are you familiar with the accident this weekend? Um, no, right now we don't have anything beyond what is the summary of facts, which again I always say is a misnomer because it is the police's version of the facts. And so, um, until I have been able to, we obviously have disclosure on July 4th, I believe. The court has said disclosure for July 4th, and then is when we would have the evidence that the prosecution intends to use against my client for the substantive matter. Could you tell us a little bit about the bail? Was there objection to bail? And what no, kind of... the prosecutor did not object to bail and so he was granted bail, like I said, in the sum of $8,000. He has to surrender his travel documents, not just to keep away from any of the prosecution witnesses. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.